Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Hello, this is Tanner Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these high voltage capacitors for use in Tesla coils. These can be easily made. For this project, you will need some page protectors, some aluminum foil, and some wire, and some tape, and that's just about all. So let's get started. You'll need to start by cutting the page protectors to remove all the things that hold the page protectors together. So that way you'll have one foldable sheet. After you have this done, you should be left with a piece of page protector that you can open and shut, such as this. Now it's time to prepare the aluminum foil. To do this, take a long sheet of aluminum foil, place your page protector on top of it, and use a knife to slightly cut out of the aluminum foil the part that you will need to make the capacitor. The page protector should overlap the aluminum foil by about one centimeter on each side. After this is done, you should have two pieces of aluminum foil. Now what you do with this aluminum foil is you open the page protector and insert the aluminum foil all the way inside it. Do this with both uh, page protectors and put aluminum foil in each one. So that way you have a piece of aluminum foil inside these two insulated page protectors. Then cut a piece of wire and flay the ends so that way you can have more surface area of wire. Now take this wire and insert it into the bottom page protector with a piece of aluminum foil and use tape to secure the wire to it. Now do the same with the top page protector. After this is done, it's time to roll the capacitor. Start with the end where the folds are and tightly roll the capacitor into a long cylindrical shape. After it is rolled, tape the ends to hold it in place. You can then Connect your capacitor to your multimeter to measure its capacitance. This capacitor has a capacitance of 3.5 nanofarads. This capacitance can vary based on your type of page protectors used because that is a dielectric and how much surface area of tinfoil you have inside your capacitor. Overall, this is a very efficient way to make high voltage capacitors for Tesla coils. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. In my next video, I will show how this is actually used to make a Tesla coil and what the Tesla coil will do.